Hey guys, today's video is about whether going to college or university to get computer science degree is worth it as opposed to going for like a coding boot camp or something like that. Um, I myself almost didn't go to university or college. Um, as a matter of fact, um, I graduated from high school in Japan when I was like 17, 18-ish. In the two years right after graduation from high school, I actually worked as a tech network technician. And during th those two years, I was actually working to save money for my college education as well as studying English and SAT and TOEFL for during two years. But at the end of two years, I almost didn't go to college because at the end of the two years, I ended up saving money, which ended up not being enough for me to fund my own university education by myself, even after adding some student loans that I could have loaned, could have borrowed from the Japanese government. So at the end of two years, I pretty much gave up on going to college. And that's the time I realized my life or my dream ended right there, right at the moment. Because to be honest, I felt like I was a failure working as a network support technician for t for one year as a contractor. Before that, I was working at a te uh, telephone call center in Japan. But all other people from my high school class, my, my high school, my high high school class, uh, went to university to get bachelor degree. Whether they're studying arts or science or no matter what, they went to university, which is pretty common, almost pretty common, right? Uh, these days, especially in Japan, like developed countries. But I felt like I was a failure for not going to university. And the reason why I decided not to go to Japanese university specifically is because I decided to go to, if I would, go to a English speaking Western university so that after graduating from university, getting bachelor's, then I have much more potential or I, I would have much more possibility to be able to find a job and then work and abroad work and live abroad so for that reason i decided not to really even apply for japanese university so long story short i skipped applying for japanese university worked two years saved up money and then started every single day pretty much my life consisted my, my life past two, those two years consisted of me working nine to five and after that coming back home and study three, four hours every single day. And that time, my life was totally unbalanced. It was very bad in terms of nutrition, diet, and uh, fitness because I didn't exercise at all. I was eating very poorly, a lot of like instant noodles and stuff like that. Didn't eat vegetables. And that ended up making me sick. I started developing eczema or atopy, skin thing. It was so severe that the at the end of like two years working, I needed to quit my job because I couldn't even sleep. My uh, inflammation on the skin got so bad that I cannot even sit with my back touching the, the back support of the chair or I cannot even lie down on a bed and then sleep comfortably because it was so itchy or even painful. <laughs> Fast forward 10 years or nine years, it's 2019 right now, I have graduated from Canadian University. I have worked at multiple companies in North America and Europe, including BlackBerry, Microsoft, uh, other big end tech companies. And right now, I'm working as a software engineer. So coming from that perspective, coming from the place where I almost gave up going to college, and then from that, I went to college, university, got computer science degree and then got amazing opportunity to work at uh, one of the biggest tech companies in Canada and also one of the biggest tech companies in the entire world like Microsoft and afterwards working at many other companies I'd like to share my opinions about whether going to college is worth it to be a software engineer and I want to premise this video by saying that going to college or not it really it really depends on your financial situation and also your your career plan as well if you think 
you want to do web front end kind of development like website javascript angular js go all that kind of stuff or maybe mobile application development those programming intensive software development job then going to university to study theoretical computer science might not be as as beneficial as if you want to study let's say more theoretical stuff like ai artificial intelligence or computer vision machine learning uh, data science big data sorts of stuff all sorts of stuff that you need to probably get phd or master's degree to be able to find a proper job in that field a little so front-end kind of thing is more related to actual practical uh, application of programming whereas back-end side or more conceptual theoretical stuff AI computer vision machine learning you can just think about Google or Uber or driving car or Tesla that requires research and development that requires solid understanding of a computer science foundation like networking or mathemat like mathematics or yeah for, for computer vision you definitely need uh, a lot of mathematics because it's all about it's all about like like object detection uh, detecting lines de detecting objects following a face stuff like that that requires math and also computer science like a program as well as well as like theory if you want to study or like do something about big data then also you need a lot of math skills as well if you want to do something more theoretical on networking level or like a database level as well then you need to understand about networking from a theory and ground up what about just a generic software engineer like let's say back in a software engineer or maybe you're you want to work at maybe just google or facebook do you need to go to college or can you just go to like an coding boot camp well i'm gonna say that there are definitely people who got job offers from facebook or google after graduating from coding boot camp and then they studied for those technical coding interviews by themselves and then they landed a job so that's definitely possible is it easier or is it difficult is it more time saving or is it more time consuming to not go to university to get four years education well if you really want to maximize your chance of getting varieties of software engineering jobs or software engineering type of tasks then i would say maximizing your computer science theoretical knowledge and also practical application of software engineering practices both in com in combination would be the best option so computer science bachelor degree might be too theoretical on some like school university college they, they have the different a little bit different uh, variations of programs depending on which university's computer science program you take so if you're just picking those really theoretical stuff like algorithm or networking database distributed system is that a more practical but other than that those really are like a nitty gritty details about the algorithm and the theory that you might not be well prepared to learn a job at like you know those big companies because yes you need to understand data structure yes you need to understand the algorithm but also you need to be able to code um so it comes down to balance and if you go to coding bootcamp yes they're going to teach you about how to code in those programming languages or database you're going to learn about those platforms or uh, tech stacks that's going to be very beneficial for you to just get hands-on experience project experience at the same time if you work at a big company then they're going to usually grill you on really low level or maybe theoretical uh, algorithm questions and that requires studying those stuff at the university but that but that doesn't mean you need to spend four years at a bachelor degree university because a lot of the stuff you learn from school end up not being useful uh, as working as a software engineer so in my case i would 
you know, all the CS courses I've taken, maybe less than half of them are really useful for me to be working as a software engineer. So that's my take. And, uh, you know, if I were to go through another university education, like a bachelor degree in CS from the beginning, would I do it again or would I choose to not to? Again, this comes down to a personal choice, but I would still go to a university and get bachelor degree in computer science because, you know, I wouldn't know what I want to be doing, you know, four or five years from now. There's so many factors influencing what I decide to do, what I want to do, what sparks my interest. For example, two years ago, you know, I wasn't sure if I was doing something that I was passionate about. Three years ago, or like even fourth year university student, I wasn't still sure what I wanted to do. I was exposed to full stack development, backend development, and also front end and JavaScript jQuery, but I still didn't know. And I, at that point, I also had like a mobile application development experience and iOS and stuff like that. But still, I didn't know what to do. Like I didn't know what was my passion. And I was thinking about going to master's degree to to learn about big data or something like that, machine learning, because that was you know a hot topic. But again. It, it's, it's really hard to know for some people what they want to do. So for that, you know, to, to, keep the, to, to, to keep as many options as possible, I would still go to a university to get a bachelor degree in computer science. It, it depends on you, you know, if you like just, you know, hands-on programming all day, you know, then that, that should be your choice as well. So this is just my opinion as a uh, as a software engineer who have gone through a bachelor degree before that I almost didn't go to college so uh, hopefully some people can relate to you know where I'm coming from in terms of my background in terms of you know what I'm currently doing as a cloud DevOps software engineer I transitioned from a backend or mobile application development to cloud DevOps you know which entails system engineering like a Linux low-level stuff as well as software architecture of like you know, whole thing. The scope is much bigger than just a backend development. And it entails, you know, making sure CACD pipeline is in place, making sure automation is in place, making sure that, you know, availability, high availability, scalability, and the security, and you know, all that kind of stuff are in place in a whole software architecture. So I'm dealing with a lot of much, much, much bigger scope, and also being, you know, able to do that on a low level, some scripting, shell, Bash, Python, scripting, as well as uh, sometimes I could do backend. I can hop into backend development. So, so right now I love what I do. And finally, after you know, four or five years, um, after like of industry experience, I can say you know this is what I like. But for you, before even studying a university education, you might not know. So I guess it's good to go to university and uh, take practical courses. You know not just that theoretical course. That would be my advice. With that said, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, then uh, let me know in the comment section and then I might create another follow-up video based on uh, you know questions. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.